so hello welcome to this review today we'll be looking at a software called win x dvd ripper platinum it's from dgt software they make a lot of video software whether it's for video converters or in this case for ripping the dvds so let me launch it i'd already installed it on my computer a few moments ago so this one is running on windows 10 which actually should run on anything from windows 7 to windows 11 is okay with it so what the software does is that it digitizes your dvds it converts the dvd format on the physical disk into a portable digital format on your computer which of course you can share online you can store on your on your hard disk or on an external hard disk you can store it on in the cloud and share it with family and friends so it's a good way of archiving your, your dvds so that you protect them from loss because we know the dvds over time they get they can easily get damaged they can get wear over time they can get scratches they can get broken they can even get lost stolen or you, you can lend it to somebody and they never return it so for all those reasons you just want to have like a single portable format which you can share on a variety of locations so you can share you can save it on your hard disk you can save it on your smartphone and then of course you can also save it on the, the cloud so let's take a look at how you can rip an example uh, a sample dvd so i've already loaded a dvd onto my computer so you, you just come here and select the disk and it will automatically detect the DVD video that you have loaded. So you just select OK and it will scan the DVD and provide you with, a, with this window where you can select the output for profile. So there are so many profiles you can choose over here. But perhaps the main one, the one that you want is the MP4 because the MP4 has a wide compatibility. It's supported online, it's supported on many smartphone devices, it's supported even on some DVDs, so and even TVs too. So you can always choose MP4. But if you need like a specific format which has been optimized for your device or for, for a certain service, then you can select it over here so many formats here you can have for your apple devices whether it's an iphone or an ipad you can select for your microsoft devices like the surface or you can select for youtube facebook email so it's just select which one you need but for in this case let's check the most obvious one the mp4 and then select ok and you, you come back now to the main window and there are a lot of options here so you can customize the, the profile if you need like different settings so you can change the bitrate the, the bitrate of the audio also you can change it or the sample rate but ideally you just want to leave it to the, to the default settings you may, so, you may also want to edit the video so you can do like a little bit of trimming you can add subtitles if you need to or you can crop the video so you can get rid of like maybe there are logos that you don't want so you can use the crop but in this case i'm not doing any of that so i'll just leave it as it is now we'll come now to, the, to this part so here we have the options for hardware acceleration so what hardware acceleration does is that it increases the processing speed for the ripping so instead of relying entirely on the cpu you can actually make use of your the gpu so if you have like an intel cpu with integrated video that supports quick sync you can enable it over here that will speed up the processing of the dvd ripping or if you have like a, an nvidia gpu with nvidia cuda you can enable it over here and that will actually speed the 
the processing speed so that instead of taking like usually like 10 15 minutes it actually take like just five minutes for the whole process to complete then if your video is interlaced you can you can enable this the interlacing and you can also select the number of cpus so if you like if you want to do other things on your computer you just select one cpu so that now you have like power for for other for other tasks this may actually be up to four cpus so it depends with your computer so after that select the folder where you want the out the, the dvd to be saved then you just click the run so this is going to take some few minutes you can choose this if it's going to take a long a lot of time you can enable this option so that it shutdowns the computer until when once it's done so you don't have like to just sit here and watch over it mm. so you see it has already started like the the, the ripping mm. so it's, saying it's estimating that the remaining time is about like 10 minutes so that's actually yeah, around 10 minutes that's okay mm. so let let me pause the video right now and we'll come once it's done okay now i'm back the the ripping actually completed successfully so let's now take a look at the output format so here is the file uh, let me open it and there you have it so the rip was successful so let me close it yeah so that's what the software does so now i have like a an mp4 that i can can use anywhere i want mm -hmm. so if you need this software i actually encourage you if you if you have like have if you have dvds like a huge collection of dvds you can use winx dvd ripper platform for that purpose i have the links in the description you can download it and try it other than that you can you can join the ambassador program which is like a referral program that you like register and get like a, a referral link so which you, which when you share to your friends or family you, and they download the software and purchase it you get like a 20 dollar cashback so it's a good way of of encouraging people to use the software and making money out of it at the same time so check the description with the links to the software itself and the ambassador program anyway thank you guys for watching this review hope you enjoyed it